Hi, it's Art, short for Artemy, and you can find me at CU Artist pretty much everywhere. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I am like pre-uploading all of my stuff and just not like publishing them officially, which I'm really glad I'm doing that in advance since I have had those little mistakes that I've had to fix with like the page numbers. Definitely glad that I am preparing for that already but it is so wild to be able to look at it now. It looks like a real genuine webcomic website, and like, I wasn't expecting it to look bad, I guess. The code was already there for the public to use, but I have made a decent amount of like tweaks to make it more personal for me, and it didn't feel real because there weren't any pages up yet. I had like one page up to test how much smaller I would need to make it so that it would load quickly, but now that I have a bunch of pages at the ready and I can like click on them and there's little there's a little author's notes section and I have a discuss thread thing underneath it, it feels like a real webcomic and I don't know, it is just making me a little bit emo I guess. There are definitely still parts of the website that I want to, like, finish up, and I'm glad that I have some time to do that still, but it feels like a real website now, and that is just very cool. I am, at this point, definitely glad that I switched over to using NeoCities over Google Sites. I am using the paid version just because I am using my own domain name and also so I will have more space available, whereas Google Sites is free, but there is just so much more individualization that I can do with it and I am definitely glad that I switched over for that. There are some things that are a little bit more difficult. I wanted to figure out how I was going to do like the content warnings on here. On Tumblr I'm just gonna have like the little read more button. I have like a basic, here's the basic things that are being warned about, and then a little bit more in depth, and then if you want just like a full explanation of what is going to happen in the next pages, that would be under the read more on Tumblr. And I found ways to do that in HTML, but the way that this website is coded is largely in JavaScript, at least the author's note portions are. So a lot of the things for like a read more or a pop-up window are not functional that I have found. So not ideal. I just ended up making a separate page for the warnings and have a little link where you can click on if you want to see the more information. And like, I don't think I will have to do those very frequently. So it's not like the end of the world, but a little trick to find a workaround that. So another reason I'm definitely glad I am trying to get these all uploaded in advance. I have pretty much all of the things uploaded at this point. I am currently working on writing out the author's notes. I always think it is fun to have a little bit of commentary. I'm not doing like a ton of stuff because I am going to be posting the first three episodes at a time, but when I am posting weekly after that I can do updates if I am going to be posting a little bit late there, so I think that is fun. There is also an option to do alt text, which is like the little hovering over the page text that a lot of webcomics have, and I'm just currently debating on if I want to do like little quippy one-liners in there, or if that should be more of like an accessibility tool. I'm not sure how that works exactly. I need to do some more research on that. I know on like Tumblr they have a section for alt text, but they also have a pretty restrictive character limit, so there's not enough space to actually help people who would be using like a screen reader or something. So I am not exactly positive what I'm gonna do about that. I might do like a Google Drive link that I just have at the bottom of everything that has the little image descriptions, but that is something I'm gonna have to put a lot of work into. When I started, I knew I would want to do something like that, and I was like, oh, it won't be that much work, I have the script already written. But at this point, I have diverged a lot from the scripts I actually wrote, so I am going to have to be intensively writing up all of those pages. So a goal I'm working towards, not something I'm going to stress too much about. I just don't know if having the alt text 
is actually the most useful for people who do use screen reading type things, but there would not be a character limit like there is on Tumblr. So who knows? I do think the Google Drive option is probably the best because I could link that also with the Tumblr page. Yeah, so a lot to think about still with the website, but it is so much more real now that the pages are actually visible for me. I updated the little buttons because they were just a little bit bothering me. The like next previous buttons and those are looking a lot better to me now. And I also created the little thumbnails that are shown on the archive portion of the website. And I realized I could make them little circles because PNGs and clear backgrounds, my beloved. So those are just looking absolutely so cute and I love the flexibility of that. I am just so excited to have it be public. That is all I have for today. Thanks for listening and I hope to see you tomorrow.